Hello lovely Virgos, welcome to your reading for 2019. Um, it's a forecast tarot reading. In this video I will be telling you about the energies that are around you for the coming year, what experiences you might expect and what decisions you might be likely to face. Um, I'll pull one general card which I've pulled already for the year ahead. The card that I've pulled is Space Clearing. And they're from The Wisdom of the Golden Path by Tony Camon Salerno. And then I'll be pulling a tarot card for love, one for wealth, one for work and home, and one for the challenges that you might face in 2019. Okay, Virgos. So 2019 is going to bring forward the winds of change. The winds will blow away all that no longer serves you. And that includes any negative thoughts to allow positive energies to come forward. Um, have no regrets, for regrets will serve no purpose. And they will only block your own happiness as well. Remember all that is, is perfect, just as it is. You will start to see the logic in all that you've been through. And you'll see a clear pathway going forward as well. And even as a beginning as the first couple of weeks of January, look for, me, for some refreshing, exciting news. Um, also, don't miss an opportunity that it presents itself mid-March as well. Okay, so... We're looking for a card for love for Virgos for 2019. What guidance can a tarot give with regards to love and relationships? And we have the Eight of Pentacles. The Eight of Pentacles is a materialistic card. It's a card of having to work very hard. So this tells me that you will have to work hard on your relationships. It is as simple as that. There is no need to complicate the tarot and the meanings and the message that's coming through. If you want something badly, you're going to have to work hard at it. Whether that's somebody you're with already or whether that's somebody that you have in your sights and you want in your life. You're going to have to make that effort and put that energy in. And you're going to have to express how you feel as well. But also with the Eight of Pentacles, it's although it is hard work, it would definitely pay off as well. You get paid back for what you're giving. It's a fantastic card with regards to relationships. Okay, the next card that I'm pulling is for wealth. And when we talk of wealth, we're not just talking about money. We're talking about the wealth of who you are as a person. And we know that the, the winds of change are coming. <laughs> so the winds of change are coming. And there's the card, the tower. The tower sometimes is quite a frightening card. We have two people falling away and the tower's been hit. But actually, it's a signal that the changes that you'll make are worth it. If the foundations are never right in the first place, then what's the point? And where this hard work comes in as well, doesn't mean to say that people are going to be leaving you. I sense that it's going to be working on the foundations of relationships as well, going back to the beginning. And if you didn't get things quite right in the beginning, kind of letting others know how you feel and what it is that you want as well. Okay, the third card is for work and home. And we have the Five of Cups. The Five of Cups is an emotion card. It's to do with love. And we can see that there's two standing cups here. And there's three that are spilt. Houses in the distance. The head is bowed and covered with a cloak. 
And for me, this is a card of wishing things could have been differently, wishing things could have worked out differently. And remember, this isn't about a relationship. This is about work and home. And if this is around a work situation, um, whether it's a choice that you've made or a situation that's happened at work, you cannot change what happened yesterday. So it's about moving forward in a different of mindset as well. So when you're clearing that negative thoughts, that which is the card that we have here for space clearing and the winds of change blow in, allow the winds of change to blow away any issues around work. Um, it's time to stand up tall, put your head and shoulders up high, turn around and actually look at what you do have there. And with the five, it's not all lost as well. So it's kind of 50-50, there's a, that situation. So if you're in a job that you're not overly happy with, then look at ways that you can change that job or change your home situation because there is something there. And again, it's about turning negatives into positives. Okay. The last card that I will pull is for any challenges that you might face in 2019. Can the tarot give any guidance to the challenges that you will face? And we have the Nine of Swords. The Swords are our mind and our worries and our thoughts. And the Nine, if we look at the picture, she's sitting in bed with her head in her hands. All the swords are on the wall and they're all pointing directly towards her. <sighs> what this tells us is that you can worry until the cows come home 24-7, but it'll be only you that worries. The worries that you have are unique to yourself and they will cause you anguish. They will cause you unhappiness. So if there is a situation, if there is an issue, try to turn any negative thoughts into positive ones. Look for the positive because this is what the Five of Cups tells us to do as well. Look at the positive side. Even the Tower has that positive outcome of looking at your foundations and, and looking at what you have, clearing out that you know things that no, you no longer want or need in your life. And even if that is just thoughts, it's a clearing of the mind. So 2019 is going to bring you a, a breath of fresh air. A breath of fresh air. Clear your mind, clear your thoughts. And then once you've done that, you've allowed your mind to be still. You can focus on what it is that you want to do and what it is that you want to bring in. And if it's revamping a relationship that you're in already, then yes, it might take a little bit of hard work, but it will be worth it. If it's someone you want to be with, then the hard work again will pay off. As long as you're not worrying unnecessarily. Okay, so let me just see if I get anything else for you for 2019. I'm saying look at July. July, there will be a transformation in an opening with somebody you meet, with somebody from the past re-showing themselves. This is evolving around a person but there is going to be a big opportunity for you in July. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed the reading. Please join me on my channel for my monthly readings as well. Um, please subscribe to my channel. Please comment, like and share on the video. And I hope you all have a beautiful 2019. Thank you.